from starting up. Good morning. Yesterday itself, uh, in the previous goals, we have discussed till goal eight of oxidation number. Up to goal eight, you come across with rule eleven. For the eleven rules, we have seen. Now followed by that, in goal nine, you come across with rule twelve. What this rule twelve states is. oxidation number in case of groups group 1 elements exhibits oxidation number as 1 group 2 elements exhibits oxidation number as 2 nothing but its group number is equal to its oxidation number suppose take for example group 1 elements nothing but one year group elements if you consider it exhibits the oxidation state of 1 plus 1 we can say Group two A elements exhibits oxidation state of plus two. Three A exhibits oxidation state of plus three. Four A plus four. Up to four group elements exhibits the oxidation number of its group number. Whereas when you move from group five to eight A. In order to get the oxidation number, you have a formula group Fe two Fe three. That is, the formula is group number minus eight. If you do group number minus eight, you are going to get the oxidation states for this group elements. Suppose if you take fifth A group, its group number is what five. Minus eight. How much? That is minus three. Minus three is the oxidation state for five A group elements. And if you if you want to know the oxidation states for six A group elements, you have to do what? Five minus sorry six minus eight. You are going to get what? Minus two. In in the case of what seven uh, A group elements, if you know the if you want to get the oxidation states for that, seven minus eight. If you do, you are going to get what? Minus one. In the similar way, for eight A group elements, the oxidation state for that is zero. Eight minus eight, you are going to get zero. From this is the rule. What it states is, from the group number, you are going to get the oxidation states for the elements which belongs to that group. This is about rule two, rule twelve. Next, if you see rule thirteen, in the case of rule thirteen. Here we come across with some carbides. Nitrides, phosphides, sulfides exhibits oxidation states of uh, Minus four for carbides, minus three for nitrides, phosphides also minus three, sulfides. If you take that is minus two. For example, if in case of carbides, we can take the example as C S I C silicon carbide. Here silicon will exhibit what plus four oxidation state. As a result of it, carbon will exhibit minus four oxidation state in silicon carbide. Whereas when you take for nitrides, you can take a uh, magnesium nitride Mg three N two. This is the example. You can go for nitrides in the magnesium nitride. You come across with what nitrogen oxidation state as minus three. If you want to go with phosphides. Example: You can take calcium phosphide, that is Ca3B2. Here, in the case of calcium phosphide, calcium exhibits what plus two valency, as well as phosphorus plus minus three oxidation state. If you take in the case of sulfides, that is H2S, it is a sulfide, and in the case of base H2S, sulfur is exhibiting what minus two oxidation state. As a result of it, from this, from the rule thirteen, you are going to get the The statement like what carbides, nitrides, phosphides, and sulfides. If you come across with in the compounds, then they are going to exhibit for carbides minus four oxidation state, 
for nitrides minus 3 oxidation state and for phosphides minus 3 oxidation state whereas when you go with what um, sulfides it exhibits what minus 2 oxidation state this tells about rule 30 rule 13 then at this here itself you come across within the same goal rule 14 also what this rule 14 tells about it tells about the uh, oxidation state of metals in their metal carbonyls if you see for example carbonyl compounds if you take like example nickel carbonyl all carbonyl compounds their metals will possess the oxidation state of zero here if you take nickel it exhibits the oxidation state of zero why because it is a compound of what carbonyl group as a result of it it exhibits in this compound nickel exhibits what zero oxidation state if you take any metal which uh, contains what the carbonyl group then it that metal that corresponding metal is going to exhibit what zero oxidation state that this uh, rule tells about the oxidation state of the metal in the metal carbonyls this is about uh, this goal that is goal nine now see the assignment of that goal here in this assignment if you see there you come across with the mcqs and at the same time assertion reason type questions at the same time statement type questions see first um, mcqs with one correct answer see the first question here the question is given as what among the following compounds oxygen has positive oxidation number there they give what um, for you options as water one next uh, oxyfluoride next uh, nitric ox acid at last we come across with all the above say if you see there are that options a is given for what water they are asking the oxygen oxidation state is positive in which compound you can see that if you take this here oxygen state you have to find 2 into hydrogen here how many hydrogens are there 2 as a result of it 2 into hydrogen plus oxygen only is 1 as a result of it it's a normal compound so it is equal to 0 if you see the valency for hydrogen that is plus 1 you know already we need to find the oxidation state for oxygen in this case so instead of taking O just take it to be X what you are going to get here 2 plus X is equal to what 0 as a result of it X is equal to what minus 2 here in the water oxygen is exhibiting what minus 2 oxidation state in the similar as a result of it the option is not this for that question if you take B option is given as what OF2 in OF2 we have to find the oxidation state for oxygen so let it be X plus how many fluorines are there two fluorines two times of F is equal to what zero it's a neutral compound and you know the valency for fluorine already you studied that is uh, minus one two times of minus one is equal to zero as a result of it x minus 2 is equal to 0 x is equal to what plus 2 from this uh, we can decide the answer for that question that is B option that is oxyfluoride if in case of second question if you see the oxidation number of uh, formaldehyde they ask that is HCHO the formula for formaldehyde is the oxidation state of carbon in formaldehyde they asked and you already know that here hydrogens 2 are there plus 2 and oxygens 1 is there minus 2 then plus 2 minus 2 will be get cancelled as a result of it for carbon it exhibits what 0 oxidation state that is option for that if you see next question they are asking nitrogen exhibits oxidation state as minus 1 by 3 in the compound see here minus 1 by 3 oxidation state is going to be exhibited by nitrogen in which compound it is going to exhibit that oxidation state they gave the options as A as ammonia if you see in the case of ammonia nitrogen oxidation state here if you take uh, nitrogen oxidation state we have to find so let it be X uh, plus how many hydrogens you come across with three hydrogens there is a neutral compound as a result of it it is equal to 0 X plus 3 into 1 is equal to 0 why because hydrogen valence is 1 you know already X is equal to what minus 3 as a result of it uh, for that question the answer is not A 
if you see the B option that is um, hydrozoic acid that is N3H is given whereas in this case if you see 3 times of X why because 3 atoms of nitrogen you come across with and plus hydrogen valency you know already that is plus 1 is equal to what 0 as a result of it what you are going to get 3x is equal to what minus 1 x is equal to what minus 1 by 3 as a result of that from this we can conclude that for that question the answer is b that is hydrozoic acid and now next if you see assertion as well as reason type questions for assertion they gave a statement as what in all compounds the oxidation number of one year group elements is plus 1 except hydrogen is that statement right yes it is right statement why because one year group elements exhibits what obviously plus 1 oxidation state because of that reason they are placed in first a group of the periodic table whereas if you see the reason statement for that they gave that one year group elements are highly electronegative it is wrong statement why because they are highly electropositive in nature that's why they are metal if you can say so here if you see assertion statement is right whereas reason is wrong so the option for that is c next if you see statement type questions in the statement type questions we come across with statement a as in all compounds the oxidation number of oxygen is minus 2 is it right statement as yes, it is right statement and if you see in the case of statement B in all compounds oxidation number of fluorine is minus 2 that is also right statement carbon exhibits plus 4 and minus 4 oxidation numbers only is it right statement no it do exhibit what zero oxidation state as a result of it statement A as well as B is right so the option for that is C this is about goal line we will meet in next goal thank you